volunteers rolled up their sleeves to help clean up the mess at Midway Public School today following a Saturday fire. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Midway School is 25 miles northwest of Grand Forks in Inkster, North Dakota. Valley News Team's Neil Carlson was there and shows us the damage and the spirit of volunteerism that's cleaning up the mess. Fire crews were back on the scene this morning, putting out hot spots that kept coming back to life on the roof of the school shop where the fire started. It was used for storage. Inside, there were basically just two rooms that received heavy smoke damage, this classroom and the school's weight room. However, there is a light covering of smoke throughout the school that needed to be cleaned up. Professional cleaners have been brought in, but also an army of students and parents will be on hand, all in an effort to save time. It, it's not that hard of work, but it's time consuming. Okay. So if we can't get through all the classrooms, we can't open tomorrow, and we want to open tomorrow. So. Even some folks with no current connection with the school decided to pitch in. Shirley Murkursky's last child graduated from here 31 years ago, and she's now retired living in Grand Forks. I thought about it all night, and I thought, well, I better come. So I'm here. <laughs> all right, all right. So what brought you out here today? I had seen the ad in the paper today that they needed help. So, so decided, there you are. So I decided to come, yes, <laughs> to help out. And it, uh, okay. It's a good cause. Everyone here knows it could have been a lot worse. Instead of cleaning up a bit of smoke damage, the 200-some pre-K through 12 students here could have been left without a school. Well, you're cleaning up today, but things could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. All right. Yeah, we got very lucky. The fire doors were closed, and okay. it was. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. From Midway Public School, Neil Carlson, Valley News Live. And all 76 volunteers showed up to clean smoke damage today. Superintendent Roger Abbey says the school will be back open for business tomorrow morning.